Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Pisces, this is going to be a general reading. So if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus. Okay, Pisces. Let's get some energies. Let's get some energy for Pisces. Okay, fear. Wow, okay. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. At the bottom we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay, let's get some more energy. What is going on with Pisces? Okay, we have holy love. Courage and bravery. Okay, one more. <laughs> Leo, the lion. Okay, waking the lion. So yeah, we have courage. We have strength. The number 19 may be very important for you at this time. At the bottom, we have number 41, a higher view. So Pisces. Okay, here's the thing. I feel like there's some things that you're worried about. Um, I feel like, you know, there's some things that may have to deal with love issues that are really on your mind. You're kind of gaining your strength, your resolution in the, in the uh, situation. But I feel like, you know, with this holy love, I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you are being protected. But you do have that pride on the on the bottom. So I feel like that's something that you need to take notice of. Maybe you having too much pride in the situation. Or maybe someone else having too much pride in the situation. Um, but I feel like, you know, someone's being a little stubborn. Someone really wants something to go their way. Or no way at all. You know? And that's just the energy that I'm feeling. But... Pisces, whether this is you or someone else, I feel like you have courage to deal with this, this issue. You have strength. You have power. You have confidence. So I, I feel like just building on that energy is going to really help you through the situation. Let's get some tarot for Pisces. Let's see what we have for Pisces. Okay, yeah, we have justice. Libra energy. So, <clears throat> I feel like something is working in your favor, Pisces. I feel like you're looking for a good outcome. Yeah, we have the Hierophant. Definitely looking more at your spiritual side. You may be learning lessons. Uh, you may be a teacher at this time. We also have the Lovers. So definitely a situation in love. If you are open to love, this may be new love coming through. Maybe after a situation to where you, you know, were really, really worried about if the situation was going to come to light or not. You know? And the sun. Wow. Okay. I was kind of doubtful where this reading was going in the beginning because we had fear and we had, you know, courage. But this is looking really good. Okay. We have the tower in reverse. So there's some kind of fear of change. Some, some kind of not wanting change to occur. And we also, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wow. Yeah, definitely not wanting change. We have the Nine of Cups. And the High Priestess. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, so two cards wanted to fall out, so we'll go ahead and take those. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Okay, Pisces. At the bottom, we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're definitely moving 
into this direction and I feel like you know you have a fear of change or you just don't want something to change in a situation but I feel like it's something that you're not going to be able to stop because th this change is occurring because you're moving you're moving forward you're moving into this more peaceful space and I feel like you, you're kind of moving into this peaceful space where you really don't want to be disturbed. You don't want anything to kind of disturb this peacefulness that you're gaining. But this change isn't coming to disturb you, Pisces. This change is coming to, you know, make this situation even better than what you expect. And I feel like you kind of have a fear of this change. Okay, so we have the Justice card in the Hierophant. <clears throat> I definitely feel like something is moving in your favor, Pisces. Uh, I feel like you, you've gained your balance. You're working on yourself. There's some kind of business that you're doing that is putting you in a better position. Some kind of work that you've done you're being rewarded for but you have your balance you have your strength and I feel like you're you're becoming more spiritual you're becoming more aware of your situation you're following directions and I feel like you're following directions with your intuition um, something may be leading you in a certain direction Pisces, but I feel like you're kind of reluctant to move. But, you know, you have this love coming through and the sun. So you have love and happiness, something that's going to make you overjoyed. Um, so if you are open to love, I feel like love is coming through. If you're already in a relationship, I feel like you're gaining joy. You're gaining happiness. This is going to be a very happy time in your relationship. You're kind of building up to the next level. You know? So I, I feel like... I feel like you just don't want things to change. You kind of have a fear that if they change, something will be taken away. Something will be missing out of the situation. You feel like you're kind of, you, you're happy at the moment, but you're like waiting for that other shoe to drop to see what happens next. You're kind of hope, you're not really hoping. You're kind of waiting for that negative thing to happen when it may possibly not happen you know and I, I think that's the reason for this tower and this wheel of fortune in reverse you're kind of blocking that change but you're also blocking your good fortune you're also blocking your blessings from from coming forward to you by having such deep a fear and look at this, you know, we have the, the, the Nine of Cups right here, which is your wish fulfillment. Some kind of wishes want to come through, but I feel like you're blocking them. I feel like you almost are kind of stopping them from happening. But, you know, whether you know it or not, Pisces, you know, we can't really stop change. We can kind of be stubborn in the effect to where we don't want things to change but unfortunately things tend to change even though we don't want them to but just be aware that these changes are made to make you better put you in a better position guide you onto the right path and I feel like you know even though you're being stubborn in the situation your wishes are right past this change they're right underneath the levers, you know? So something is happening that you're not fully aware of, but I feel like the, it, it's all becoming more clear, where it will all become more clear in time. Um, just hold tight, you know, follow your intuition. Pisces is the, is the most intuitive of the tarot. 
So uh, I feel like following your intuition is going to bring you so much more clarity. Th this could really be a breakthrough. This could be you, you know, breaking through the mold. You know? Very interesting. Let's get some more energy for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Planting seeds. And this one wanted to fall out. We have the Temperance. So balance, harmony. Being in that comfortable position, you know? Um, having patience. Having the self-control. And we have the um, Ace of Wands. Okay, so, so something's going to spark your interest, Pisces. And I feel like, you know, whatever this is, it's bringing new creative ideas. New creative actions that need to be taken. And <clears throat> I feel like you're planting seeds. You're... That like the seed is planted for this idea, for this certain project that needs to be done. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like you're taking action. Um, definitely with this Ace of Wands and the, the Knight of Swords, you're taking action, but you're you're finding out information. The information is coming to you. The secrets are being revealed. Um, the, the Knight of Swords is also something that could change everything. You know, this is life-changing energy with the Knight of Swords. It's something becoming clear, kind of like a breakthrough, an epiphany that is going to bring you uh, success or move you into another position. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups. Now, this Knight of Cups is you, Pisces. You're, you're deep in your emotions, and sometimes you can hide your emotions very well. You, you have learned to control your emotions to where sometimes it can, you can come across kind of cold. Um, so I feel like something has brought you disappointment because of your emotional state. Um, maybe this is someone that's near to you who is kind of discouraged at the moment about a situation um it may be because you're not able to show your true emotions in the situation but you know there's a little discouragement here there's a little um kind of holding back we also have the eight excuse me the queen of pentacles so i feel like whatever the situation is I feel like you find value in the situation you're holding this you're protecting this you know this pentacle very closely and you're kind of adoring this pentacle so something that you're trying to hold close to you you're trying to keep it stable keep it solid keep it grounded you know um, <clears throat> you're trying to hold your rec res resources very close so you may be really watching your money at the moment um, but I feel like whatever this is, it's very precious to you. See, we have the devil. It could be a Capricorn in your life. But I feel like this may be something, since the, the devil is on top of the uh, Three of Swords in Reverse and the Knight of Cups. I feel like this devil is kind of someone obsessing over a situation that maybe a little petty you know maybe put in too much negative energy in something that really is not as big as it is um i really feel like with this card there's too much emotion too much emotion hmm Okay, with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, like I said, I feel like something is coming to 
about. This may be something that's more reliable. Something that's like gaining slow and steady. You may be building your wealth slow and steady. Or you may be going through this love interest. But I feel like you may be controlling your emotions, not showing them. But you're kind of moving very slowly. You're like really taking your time in the situation. Okay, so we have the star card. There you go, Pisces. Coming out strong. You're coming out with your healing. With, you know, being the star of the moment. Um... Finding your balance and the Four of Swords. So, okay, here's what it is, Pisces. With the Star and the Four of Swords, I feel like you're in this really selfish energy. I feel like you're really focused on yourself. You're focused on your healing. You're focused on what gives you balance. And the, the other person in your life you may not be as focused on them because you're too focused on yourself. You're focused on your recovery. You're like putting yourself first, but I feel like you're coming across as very selfish, you know, with this devil card right behind there. And, and I'm, you know, at the beginning, I felt a very stubborn energy, but um, yeah, I feel like there's some kind of situation that you need to be more open to, Pisces. You may need to take a step back and take a look. Maybe put yourself in the other person's shoes. Yeah, we have the moon in reverse. More Pisces energy. More Pisces energy. Either this is you, Pisces, or you're dealing with the Pisces. But something that needs to be revealed, something that needs to be exposed... It is not being, you know, it there. there's something blocking it. There's something keeping it from moving forward. Um, again, I feel like this is you not wanting to change. The moon is also a card of change. It's a card of voluntary change. You know, some kind of changes that you initiate. Um, but I feel like... <laughs> that you are in this energy where you do not want anything at all to change you just want you just want what you want but i feel like you need to trust pisces you need to trust and set your priorities because you know and i i feel like you know this love is here you have love but i feel like being in such a stubborn energy this is either your energy or their energy but I feel like this stubborn energy is going to block a lot of emotions from coming through. You know, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. Let's get some monology cards and then we'll go into clarify. Okay, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. More Pisces energy. Of course. You are, I feel like there's so much Pisces energy because you are really focused on Pisces. A win-win outcome is in the forecast, full moon in Libra. You may be dealing with a Libra. There's a lot of Libra energy here as well. Let's see. And we have a look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius energy. At the bottom we have believe in the impossible. So I, I feel like either you or the person needs to come out of this stubborn, selfish energy and move forward. Because look at this. We had a higher view come out in the beginning. And now we have look at the bigger picture. There's something that needs to be revealed or exposed. But I feel like something's blocking it. Something is not letting the answers become clear. And although you may have a win-win situation in your outcome, I feel like, you know, it's going to take some time for it to get there because this energy needs to be stopped before you can, you know. We have last quarter moon in Pisces. <laughs> 
more Pisces energy. Talk less and feel more. So I think Pisces, yeah, I feel like if you're controlling your emotions, I feel like you need to put your emotions out there. We also have believe in your good luck. Yeah, that's this Wheel of Fortune energy that came out in reverse. I feel like that's your good fortune being blocked for some reason. And I think that Pisces, you need to be intuitive on the situation. You need to believe that good luck is on your side, that this wheel is able to turn. And we also have last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. Lighten up, Pisces. Get out of that stuck energy. At the bottom, we have step up and lead. Okay, so we're going to take this other deck. And we are going to clarify the situation. Okay, more message for Pisces, please. What's going on with Pisces? More messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, two cards, of course. So we have the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Okay, with the Four of Pentacles, the Four of P Pentacles is, you know, protecting something. Protecting something that you love something that you value something that you you know are are valued for it's also um could be something that you desire some kind of long-term security but the eight of wands is the need of taking action you know um Taking action on a situation. And unfortunately, the Eight of Wands is also quick change. So I feel like something is changing. Or some kind of information that you're receiving with this Eight of Wands energy is going to push you into this fast change. And um, yeah, okay, we have the Temperance. So, you know, after this discommunication, you still have your balance. I, I feel like whatever this communication is, whatever this quick change is, whatever action needs to be taken, you still feel your balance. You still feel protected, in control. You know, you still feel that harmony in the situation. Um, and the devil in reverse. Okay. Uh, we've got the devil twice in this reading. So something is being clarified. Something is being confirmed. Um, now, before the devil was, was in the upright, something was being blocked. There was some kind of obsession, some kind of negative energy that was blocking all of the good fortune. Um, because maybe you were being too stubborn or someone else was being too stubborn in the situation. Um but now as we see that you know after this communication after this quick change you have healing but now we have the devil in reverse so something's being released some block is being unblocked look at this we have the lovers on the bottom so something that needed to be exposed that needed to be revealed finally is revealed to you it's finally exposed and I feel like it's able for you to unblock the energy to release yourself from you know some kind of obsession some kind of some kind of blockage we have the page of one so definitely Definitely moving into a more secure, a more confident position. Um, the Page of Wands is also a card of taking the initiative. 
um, taking action on a situation, it, rather that be with action altogether or with communication that's going to lead to something moving forward. So I, I feel like some kind of communication is coming forward with this Page of Wands on top of the Eight of Wands. And I feel like this is, this is movement. This is definitely moving towards something. And you've left something behind. You know, you're walking away from, from whatever this negative energy is. And you're pushing forward. Yeah, you, you're, you're leaving something behind that you thought was valuable, Pisces. But now you see that you were excluded. You felt left out of the picture, you know? So you, you've left that situation behind. And we have the Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay, so you're gaining your clarity on the situation. There's some kind of um, clarity that you're gaining. Someone is coming through that is very honest, very open, very understanding. Uh, this is also someone who may be very intellectual or self-sufficient in the manner to where they are giving you good advice. But I feel like they're coming to you with total honesty. They're opening up to the situation. Look at this. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So something that you thought was over may not be completely over. Um, something that you thought had finished or was going to bring you a lot of pain doesn't. We have the Queen of Cups. This is your energy as well, Pisces. So something is not over, but it's bringing you a lot of contentment, a lot of nurturing, support. You know, I feel like this is that, whew, you know, with the emotions. I feel like you're, you're able to breathe out. You're able to reassess and... Um, really heal and the wheel of fortune now the wheel of fortune is in, still in reverse so I feel like I feel like you're still not wanting this change you're still blocking that good fortune um, but I feel like whatever is blocking it you've now released but you're being very stubborn I feel like you're being very stubborn you're caught up in your emotions with the nine of swords energy you're like living this endless nightmare to where you feel like something isn't going to come through and then it doesn't come through so you definitely need to push past those feelings of negativity and, you know, open up to your happiness. You have happiness here. You have the sun, Pisces. So I'm not sure where all this negative energy is coming, but and I feel like it's something that you need to push past. This is something that you may be creating on your own. Uh, but see, he's defeated the 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 dragon he's he's not worried about those fears about those doubts because he's being covered with protection you know um so th there is definitely something that you need to let go of pisces i'm gonna go a little bit deeper because i want to know why this wheel of fortune has come out for the second time in reverse okay the world in reverse okay there's a lesson that hasn't been learned yet you haven't completed some kind of journey there still needs to be something that needs to be completed something needs to be finished you have the ten of wands at the bottom see he's laid down his burdens and maybe you've laid down something or maybe you've given up on something a little too early um Hmm. 
The Ten of Wands can also be too many burdens. Maybe you're under too much stress. Maybe you're under too much stress to really think about a good outcome. But there's something that's blocking you. I feel like it may be, yeah, something that you need to leave behind. Definitely, and we already know that. It's something that needs to be released. Look at that. We got the Ten of Wands again. There's some kind of fear, some kind of stress that you're holding on to that needs to be released that needs to be let go of so you can walk into your contentment you know he's walking into his contentment he's walking into his nine of cups he's walking towards his future but she's standing there holding a the cup she's still thinking about what has been lost what she desired that wasn't fulfilled you know And we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, something. Wow. Something that you've been working on, Pisces, just didn't work out. It didn't work like you expected it. But you do have more opportunities. You, you know, having something to not work out is all an illusion. Because you're holding yourself back because of this illusion. You know, he has this snake wrapped around his waist while he's trying to hold on to these jewels. But he's being bound by this snake. You know, so it, it's like choosing the right opportunity to pursue your dreams and finding out that this, the opportunity was a cup full of snakes, you know. Something just didn't come through the way you expected. But I feel like it's something that you may have to move on from. Okay, Pisces, you have the Page of Cups. So I feel like something that's going to come in very unexpected. Some, some kind of information, some kind of offer that's going to be made to you will bring everything into light. You'll feel more confident about the situation. This may be someone coming in to offer you help or love with the lovers here. Um, but I feel like whatever this is, this is pushing you towards that Nine of Cups moment. This is something that, that you need to do to feel more renewed in the situation. To come out of this comfort zone. To move past where you've always been and try something different. Try that new path. Try that new journey. Because you have a rebirth, a renewal. You know, you have more hope that's coming in for you. You just need to grasp it and embrace it. Move away from this energy of being in doubt or blocking your good fortune. Okay? And, okay, we're going to go ahead and take some angel cards for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces, please? Okay, we have Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Beautiful. And we have Magic Manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Okay, at the bottom we have Trusting Heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Yeah, so Spirit is letting you know you have your protection. Let the universe do the work for you. Trust Pisces. Trust in the process. Because the process leads to your Nine of Cups moment. You know? You know, turn your good fortune back around. Accept it. Be fulfilled. You know, find that turning point. That balance that you're craving so much. You know? 
beautiful energy, Pisces. You just need to move away from, you know, that stubbornness and, you know, accept what is unfolding because the universe knows what's best for you, even if you don't. So that is what I have. Pisces, uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign. And that will give you more messages. Pisces, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.